133 billion pounds of food are thrown out each year in the US. When we talk about climate pollution, we tend to focus on power plants, transportation and industry, while in reality wasted food often gets overlooked. 1.3 metric gigatons of edible food goes to waste every year and almost 800 million people are undernourished worldwide. This issue goes beyond hunger. Producing the food we waste takes land, water, labor and other valuable resources. To add to this, food waste is also a major source of greenhouse gases. If food waste was a country in terms of impact on global warming, it would be the third emitter of greenhouse gases just behind China and the United States. Climate change is being talked about more than ever as a global emergency. 8.3 million tons of food waste are produced per year in the UK, and this is costing consumers 12 billion as well as any environmental damage. Not only should consumers be concerned about their food waste for the planet, but they should also be worried about their wallets. A family of four in the US spends $1,500 per year on food they would never eat. It's not all bad news when it comes to food waste. Among the causes of climate change, Food waste is perhaps the easiest to deal with and the one where everyone can make an impact in their daily lives. We can save money and reduce our climate impact by planning meals and only buying food we know we are going to eat. Have you ever opened your fridge only to pull out from the back the remainings of a spoiled dinner or to realize you have forgotten to buy something? This is where our app Fridge Plan comes in to combat these issues. The application allows users to track groceries in their fridge, which will make the user's everyday life much easier. We have based our app on the thorough feedback from customer research, as well as researching competitive apps and evaluating their features. The aim of Fridge App is to provide an overall smooth and seamless user experience with all the needed features. Our app will help users calm their guilty conscience and save them money while they do it. The features we implement will not only help consumers keep track of the use by dates, but also give them ideas on how to use the food they have before it goes to waste. It will give them a convenient way to plan and eat these meals, with the ability to create shopping lists with advice based on what they previously did and did not use. This will ensure that even the busiest of people can reduce their waste and save money easily. When the app is first launched, you will see the following page. The user can either use the app as a guest or make an account. To use it as a guest, tap the personal organizer button and you will see the fridge page. Here you can see all the items currently in your fridge. To add a new one, simply tap the plus icon on the bottom. This will bring up a screen which allows you to enter all product details, such as the name, the quantity and the category, as well as the expiration date for this item. Once you hit add item, you will see this item appear in your fridge. To see more details about this new item, tap on it and you will see the quantity, the category, as well as a bar indicating how long it is until the item expires. To make use of the shopping list feature, tap the shop list icon. This is where you can add items you are planning to buy. To add a new one, tap the plus icon again and enter the product details such as the name, the quantity and the category. Once an item in your shopping list has been purchased, simply tap on it and you'll be able to enter the expiration date for it. This item will disappear from your shopping list and now appear in your fridge. Once an item in your fridge has been eaten, simply tap on it and hit remove. This will remove the item from your fridge. To use the app with an account, you must first register. To do this, tap the registration button and fill in all necessary details. You can now hit register. You will then be prompted with a message saying you've successfully registered and automatically be logged in. I will now show you how to use these features with an existing account. First we must log in. The personal organiser works similarly as with a guest account except when adding an item you are given the opportunity to scan a barcode. This automatically fills in the details of it, such as the name, quantity and the category. All that's left for you to do is fill in the expiration date. There is also the statistics feature as part of the personal organiser. 
This shows you a pie chart of eaten versus discarded food over the past month to give users an idea of how much they really are throwing away. We also give a top three list of eaten food and discarded food, so users can make best decisions in terms of what to add to their shopping list. Another difference between an account and a guest account is the way you mark items as eaten. You're able to mark an item as eaten, fully or partially eaten by clicking eaten sum and you enter how many are left. Discarded and discarded sum also work in a similar way. Marking items as eaten and discarded all contribute towards your statistics so that you can get a better experience in terms of what to add to your fridge and shopping list. Another feature for users with an account is recipes. Users can create their own recipe by tapping the plus button and entering the recipe name, difficulty level, duration, any ingredients and the method. They can also mark a recipe as favourite for easier access. Users can also make a recipe into part of a meal plan by tapping use for meal. They can then select the meal type and the scheduled date for this. You can also add a plan via the meals page Simply tap the plus icon, select the meal type and the recipe. They can also see which recipe they have most ingredients for, making it easier to schedule meals. Then select the date and tap add meal. This will now have been added to your meal plan. The group fridge feature is another feature for users with an account. To create a group, go to group settings via my account and tap create a new group. Once this is done, the user can tap get access code and send this code to friends or family they share a fridge with. To join an already existing group, go to my account, group settings, tap join group and paste in the group access code from one of the other members. You will now have access to the group organizer. This works the same as the personal organizer, except all changes are updated for the whole group. Finally, the app allows a lot of personalization through my account. Here you can see your account details and also update your preferences. To update your appearance settings, you can change the color scheme, the font type, and the font size. These changes will then be saved. You can also update your notification settings to select what you choose to get notifications about. Finally, you can update any of your account details, such as your payment details, your personal details, and your password. We believe that small actions can lead to big change. Every one of us can make a difference and contribute to fighting climate change. Fridge Plan can help you and your family lead a healthier life while every single person has enough to eat, without destroying our planet in the process. We can build a more sustainable future where our most precious resources are saved, not thrown away. Make a change today, starting with Fridge Plan.